Hey yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, man. So it is early, and we are <laughs> we're checking out the new Bombushka, the new plane that just dropped out. Uh, part of the drip feed content from the Smuggler's Run DLC. Um, this is like uh, this plane is kind of like the Titan. It's a real big four-engine propeller plane or whatever. Uh, it's got a lot of hype around it, and so in this video, we're going to be testing out everything. Testing out the the cosmetic upgrades, the weapons, the armor, uh, flying, everything with this. You know, every, pretty much the whole entire 90 yards. I know it's a bit longer video, about eight and a half minutes or eight and some change. But yeah, man, check it out. So let's go right into a Warstock cache and carry from the internet on your phone. And let's check it out, man. Um, so yeah, you go to Warstock cache and carry. That's where you're going to find the plane. And then it's got a, uh, you know, pretty cool little decent, uh, you know, description or whatever. Uh, and it's, it's mad expensive though. 5.9 million without the trade price. The trade price is $4,450,000. So let's read the description real quick. When it comes to dropping enough ordnance to give the peace Nicks something to blubber about the really, the really is no need to change a winning formula. The bamboo should come straight out of a time when the good guys were good guys and the bad guys were bad guys. Collateral damage is just damage and wars could be won from the air. Saddle up, comrade. And it says, no, this aircraft is included for Pegasus lifestyle. It's got to be in a hangar. So to get this plane, you have to have a hangar. So you're already 1.2 million minimum in there. And, you know, first impressions, it's a big-ass plane. You know what I mean? A lot of people talked about it on the uh, with the PC mods and they released and stuff like that. But we're going to find out exactly what it is overall. So with the customization, it's got the same stuff as all the other planes do. you got armor on there. That'll set you back 50 grand for some armor. The countermeasures, you got everything on there. I went ahead and put uh, flares on there. 110,000, so we're at 160 so far. Uh, the engine, 33,500, so we're at basically 200 grand. Um, got that taken care of. Handling, you got that next. And I was like, handling, what? So you got race handling, 35,000, so we're at 235K. Next to the livery, it's got 11 liveries. They're pretty dope. I like them. Uh, not too bad at all, not too shabby. You got the White Eagle. Which is pretty cool. It's got the you know the description on the wings or whatever. It's got the black eagle, the gold eagle. Uh, you got the crimson star, which is you know Mother Russia, Soviet Russia. You don't bamburushka, bamburushka you. So <laughs> anyway, you got the shark tooth. You got the uh, the bambushka uh, livery. Uh, you got the uh, Americana. You got the pinup. You got the uh, tally ho. Uh, which is pretty cool. The vodka bomber has a whole bunch of paint to it, which is nice. I like that one. It's pretty good, you know. And deliveries will set you back uh, max twenty grand. So yeah, we're at two hundred and fifty thousand right there. If you want to get the max liver, I think I just put the uh, the one with like the the shark tooth. I put that on there. I look pretty cool, right? Here. I think everyone's gonna have that one. Uh, you got your here's your paint. Uh, the primary is the top half of the plane. Secondary will be the bottom half. And that's, you know, traditional for all warplanes. Your top half looks like the ground. The paint is supposed to look like the ground. The bottom half is supposed to look like the sky. If you're looking up at it, it's harder to see. You got the JTO, the jet activated thrust or whatever it is where you can just, you know, fly up. That'll set you back 200K. So we're at 450,000 right there. Uh, you got that. So you got the weapons. You got three different weapon categories. You got bombs right here. Uh, I just went with explosive. Explosive and cluster are probably the best ones to go with. Oh, shit, my alarm's going off. Um, so you got that. That'll set you back. Now we're at minimum 500k. Uh, you got nose turret, which goes from a 30 or 50 cal machine gun to a 30 mil explosive. I haven't tested the 50 cal, but the 30 mil explosive is probably the one that everyone's going to go with. So right here we're at, uh, you know, what, 600 and almost, yeah, 650,000. Now here's the rear turrets. That's 850,000. Uh, and you know, so we're already at close to a million dollars in upgrades. Uh, the plane is, I'm not going to lie, unless I'm missing something, the plane is terrible to fly. It is extremely slow, even with all the mods. And, and that was all the mods and upgrades, by the way. That was everything. Uh, this thing is mad slow. I mean, look at that. It's just, I, I, don't, I don't understand. It looks like it's not even like flying. Like it's just not, I don't know. Uh, I, I might be missing something. Those like little ailerons or whatever, they're down. I couldn't figure out how to manipulate those. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know, but it was just painful. I thought it might be to just continuously drop bombs, but it's the same. It drops five bombs at a time, and it does hold 50 bombs. Uh, so, I mean, there's that, I guess. The interior looks cool. Uh, it's got the old school, you know, Soviet era 
You know what I mean? It looks it looks pretty good, you know. In Soviet Russia, you don't look at the interior. Interior, look at you. You know that kind of thing. <laughs> it's just, I'm sorry. I'm, it's early, um, but yeah. So here's the uh, the J toe in action, which you pretty much need to use that. Just don't even start moving. Just hit your J toe. It's a left joystick, and then it'll just rocket you up into the air, which is nice. You can't use it continuously overall. We were about to start testing the armament, and a NPC laser crashed into me. I was like, oh, my God. But, bam, it destroyed my airplane. So off to a bad start already. Here are the explosive rounds from a sniper rifle. Uh, shout out to M.A. Thank you so much, man, uh, for helping me out, dude. Uh, but, yeah, so we did this real quick. We knocked this out one round, two rounds. And on the third round, it destroyed the plane. It, the way that this thing flies, the speed, that should be no issue whatsoever to destroy that. Now we're doing uh, heat-seeking rockets. One. Then we got two. And then we got three takes it out. So, yeah, I mean, damn. So three heat-seeking rockets knocks it out. RPGs, one RPG takes it out. I mean, it's the cannons are pretty dope. It's just like your MOC. It's got the same kind of cannons. That, that, I'm in, this is the nose gunner. If you're in the passenger seat, you can just hold the uh, right trigger, or the, I'm sorry, the right arrow uh, on your D-pad, and it puts you in there. It does not float. It does not go on water. There you go. <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh, here we're going to take a look in first-person mode. First-person mode is really the only way to kind of like get a good look inside there of the interior and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you hold down on the uh, right D-pad, It'll put you on to the uh, nose turret gunner, which is pretty cool. Um, and Or no, if you just tap it, it puts you in the right turret. If you hold it, it'll move you to the other guns in the back. I apologize. Excuse me on that. Uh, so yeah, here we go in the back. And then these are like the bottom and the rear gun. This is the uh, the bottom one right here. Uh, or the uh, nose turret, excuse me. And then the uh, other one is the tail. So you have the top, you have the bottom, and then you have the, uh, you have the tail. So I'm going back up here to the... Uh, to the uh, nose gun right here, you know, so it, you just kind of, you know, just get in there and check it out. You know, here's the nose turret. You, know, you, you only can really go like left and right, a little bit up, but yeah, man. But listen though, for even at the trade price for 4 million, $4.5 million, dude, this is, I'm going to go ahead and call unless I'm missing something, I could be wrong. It's early. You know what I mean? I tried to test everything I could, but I'm pretty sure I got the gist of it. Uh, you know, inmate was saying the same thing. It's just not worth it, man. Like, come on, dude. Rockstar, what are you doing? Like, make it faster. You got flares on there, but it's somebody with a freaking explosive round sniper is going to drop you, you know, all day, every day. So, anyways, I hope this helped out. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe to my channel for the Illustrator Reels content the game. Make sure you smash. I mean, you smash that like button. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Stay dangerous. Peace out.